It's Dunshockin Community College of me against Kalosh de Creestry of Cork. To your left in the green, and on the ball, it is Kalosh de Creestry. Dunshockin Community College playing in the light blue. Superb block there, right out of the bat for Ed Yousaf, number nine. This is Dunshockland. Travel call, it's the kind of mistake that you'll get early in a game, Martin. Yeah, these guys are going to be a little bit nervous at the start of the game, and it's just, uh, you know, let them get into a couple of minutes, see what happens, and let them get settled down. 1-3-1 one, one coming out from Dunshockland. And they'll need something like that against what is a very effective unit in Colossal Cree Street, featuring players on the ball there like Evan Barris. Uh, Evan, you can see by his socks there that he's a Father Matthews man. And he's also on the current Ireland international panel for under 18s, so hoping to secure his place on the European Championship squad. And that's a solid score there. With Devin O'Sullivan, he's one of the captains of this side. And always settles the nerves when the first layup goes in. So easy for these young guys to overcook them in the heat of battle. As we've seen on a couple of occasions this week. This is Dunshockland on the ball. Good hook shot there. From McCarthy. Nice little inside feed and a nice finish inside. Eight minute quarters in the league finals. As opposed to the usual ten that we've become accustomed to. Superb ball inside there to Gary Pineda. And we have ourselves a lead. Colossal Creek 3 6 to the Shockland Community College 2. There's 6 28 to go in this first quarter. Uh, no real passion emerging as both sides are really varying the play, although you would say that the Shockland are looking to get the ball inside where possible. A little bit more range from Kalosh to Creasery. Although they do look very assured from 22 feet out. That was fallen with that attempt. Bringing it down court is Navikas for the Shockland. Plays Smith. And a good outside attempt right from the baseline there for Carroll. And they're right back in the game now, just a point between the sides with 5.50 to go in this first quarter. So it does appear that there's a bit of depth in what Dunshock are bringing to the game today as well. Yeah, that might be just a little settler for them now to get him into the game. You know, you can see uh, uh, 3 3 are, you know, working hard to get to the basket or getting some outside looks. An early timeout, Cole. And we're back underway. On the ball is Dunshockland, number 15 for them. It's Rory Carroll. Plays Gavin Maher. Into the corner for William McCarthy. Shots in from Rory Carroll. And Ed Yousaf there is the number nine, actually, for Dunshockland. Competing well on the rebound, doesn't claim it. This is Gary Pineda. They just look a little bit assured, you'd have to say. This Colossal Creek three side with Evan Barrett. Pulls up, hits the jumper. And it's back in possession through the rebound from Gary Pineda. A couple of these guys really comfortable in and around the rim. Plenty of dunk practices in the warm-up. Pineda in particular there. But the big outside shot. Good form, good score. That's O'Sullivan, Devin O'Sullivan there. And he's scoring inside and out already. Good for the That's five points for him already in the game. When you look at Evan Barrett and uh, Gary Pineda, those guys are used to playing here now at this stage. And you can see how comfortable they are out on the floor. They're used to the big occasion. But of course, being comfortable in this arena is no guarantee of victory already. This week we've seen a couple of teams who maybe have picked up wins in the Schools Cup but have been bested on the league occasion through maybe a bit of complacency, maybe believe in the favourites tag. Or maybe just maybe basketball is the kind of sport that any team can step up on a day and wants to play good team basketball, they can get it right. Well, I, I agree totally with what you just said. Like, I mean, basketball is the kind of sport where anything can happen on the day. It's just, it depends how well you settle in. It depends what kind of a groove or what kind of momentum your team can get. And, uh, you know, I just think, looking at the early stages, the Shockton are going to make a game of this, I hope. Just stepped inside the three-point line there to William McCarthy. Roy Carroll does look to be their outside shot specialist. They were trying to find him there 
on the baseline. And once again, Daniel Sullivan has just been warmed up and ready for this game for quite some time. And he has hit his groove and hit his stride with 3.38 to go. It's 13-5 for Colossal Creek. Three Street. Cork side, of course, we've had two Cork teams in action yet. That's a good score. That's Rory Carroll there. We did identify him as the, their outside specialist. Looks like a change of tactics there as well for Dunshotland. They've gone back into a into regular zone. Yeah. Regular zone defense. 1-3-1 one, one wasn't working out for him. Hang on. Good rebound. We are seeing some good rebound in here. Of course, it's not always just about the tallest player. It's who's got the timing and who's sharp. Like Colin Coughlin there. Although, if he's from Oh, <laughs> look at that. You have to credit the attempt of the LEU in an under 19B All Out of League final. But it has presented a chance for Aaron, uh, William McCarthy again to keep his side in proceedings. The very fact that he looked up and saw it and went for it, like... Yeah, well, he can go to Gary, like, Gary's going to be able to get up there, so... He was a little bit unlucky, he was just a little bit of time, and that was all. Awesome. <laughs> they, are, they are comfortable above the rim, or at least ambitious about being above the rim, there's no doubt about that. Kids play the game a little bit different than we used to play it back then, <laughs> you know? That's Rory Carroll, combining with Ronan Smith. It's back with Carroll, zips it out, unfortunately, to where Ronan Smith was, rather than where he should have been, or vice versa. Time out called for Kalash to Chris Ree with 2.16 to go in the first quarter of this under-19 B All-Ireland final elite from Shotland Community College by 13 points to 10. Back underway, Kalash to Chris Ree through Devon O'Sullivan. We're seeing a lot of good play through William McCarthy. He seems to be key for this Dunshockland side. But Evan Barrett will be happy with his block on Rory Carroll. I think 3-3 defense just has to be a little bit more intense. These guys, they're, they're getting to the spots, but they're, they're just not playing hard enough at the minute, you know? They gave up five quick points there in the last two minutes. That one was unlucky there from Ronan Smith. Evan Barrett on the fast break. Pull back. 1.43 to go in this first quarter. That's Gavin Maher back to Rory Carroll. So Carroll again inside, ball turned over. Another attempt, <laughs> an acrobatic attempt to recycle the ball there to. Evan Barris. It was smart too. He knew exactly what he was doing. The defender was right behind him. Just put it off him. He's going to get it out of bounds then. Pineda to Barris. It's back at Pineda. He'll shoot the three. In and out. And back with Dunshockland and William McCarthy. To Rory Carroll. Carroll issuing instructions to his team. Great to have a bit of noise in the arena today. This is one of the bigger crowds we've had in for the league finals. It adds just to a wonderful atmosphere. That's Yusuf again contesting in the offensive bounce. Barrow with the break. Beats two players. He'll need to finish. And he does. Strong layup there from Barris. Full of running. Evans had a couple of blocks and a couple of steals early on. You know, so that's got him settled right into the game now. He very much looked pumped for this game. Not a side who featured in the closing stages of the cup competition this is the only All-Ireland that they're concerned about and they'll want to win it to follow up of course you will see a couple of players out there in the green uniforms with those red yellow and black socks they are the club colours of Father Matthews who won the under 18 National Cup here back in January but this is a chance to do it for their school to do it for their schoolmates who are in the crowd so too for Dunshockland. To find Rory Carroll in the corner, that is certainly a spot he's cozy in, and that's why, once he has an open look in there, he's happy, pumps the fist, and heads in, because that one rounds out the quarter, with eight minutes of basketball here gone, in the under-19B, All-Ireland Schools League Final. It's Colossal Cree Street of Cork, 15 points, Dunshockland Community College of Mead, 13 points.
<laughs> well, it wouldn't be a skilled spider without a morph suit. The poor fella can't see where he's going though, he's nearly knocked over advertising hoardings. He's got to take the head down there, so he's, uh, <laughs> he's also got a flag flying as well, so he's, he's got double the job. Rory Carroll has really settled in here, Ross. He's, he's hit a couple of big shots outside, kept his team right in the game. It is from that same pocket every time though, yeah. and Colossal Creastery have shown that if they can get in his face, it's a very, very different prospect. And if uh, that was done by a Chelsea player, they'd be banned for four <laughs> games. It's just a simple <laughs> slip on <laughs> Not quite the two-foot tackle that it ended up being for Don Shocklin. Devon O'Sullivan just looks so assured here. Very comfortable on the ball. Very comfortable issuing instructions to his players. That's why he's got the C in brackets beside his name. And that's why Galosha Greece 3 are out in front. Because they have the inside, the outside and the fast break all going for them at present which is why the crowd are currently doing the Poznan. They lead 18-13 with seven to go, seven minutes to go in the half. That's a superb score there from William McCarthy. And that's why teams, I presume, practice shots from the elbow or the key in the run-up to a game, because that's exactly what he did 10 minutes prior to jump. And they were shooting threes before the game. You see both teams shooting threes before the game, and the shooting percentages are quite good at the moment. You know, I mean, they, both teams playing zone. You've got to be able to shoot when you're playing against the zone, and, and both teams are doing it at the moment, doing looks well. Like, looks like Rory Carroll's more than just a three-point shooter. That was yeah. an excellent cut inside. The gap is down to one. With Devin O'Sullivan. Out to Cullum Collin. I look down, I see the name, I see C-O-U-G-H-L-A-N. I'm not from Cork, I want to say Coughlin. Well, I'm a leash man. I say Coughlin too. Nice. Well, we'll give them the, the call in this so richly deserve. Absolutely. To O'Sullivan. Another fine Cork name, you might say. With Pineda. Evan Barrett for the three. That one just tailed off to the right just a little bit. Ronan Smith with the drive. Uh, good drive. And the that just opened up for him a little bit there. That was a nice finish. That's their first lead in the game as well. They've settled in now, the nerves are gone. Yeah, absolutely. And again, there's. Uh, we haven't seen one, shall we say, single dimensional team that's come away with a win. It is going to take every shot in the locker to get yourself an All-Ireland title. And that's what Carroll's doing at the moment with another cut inside. The, 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 the space he made for himself was unbelievable. Then the finish on top of that, that's superb. That's a great job. Evan Barst spins it inside, hits Pineda in the post. <laughs> that one was like a golf ball trying to find the cup, and it puts a point between the sides. Dunshockland Community College 21, Gloucester Priest Reef Court 20 with 5 minutes and 22 seconds to go in the half of this under 19 B All Ireland Schools League final. Struggling to remember a shot in the last couple of minutes that's been missed, actually. But it, that's in the lane with contact, and he's still making the shot. I mean, that, that's that's a great job yeah, from Neil Carroll. Rory Carroll with three drives and three baskets. What can Colin do? Well, he's hadn't gotten anything from the drive, but a trip to the free throw line with three points between the sides. You know, in, in close games, free throws are going to be very important. So, making these shots, uh, you know, to the end of the game, to be the winner and losing of these games. Absolutely. We saw in the under 16A All Ireland final yesterday, it wasn't just the fact that Summerhill Sligo scored whatever it was, the last six points of the game. It was that <clears throat> the last four free throws all went in. Wow. It may not sound like a, a huge run, but it was the winning of the game in many respects. I'd like to see a good congratulatory side. I'd like to see the equivalent of the Waterford hurlers out there. You know, all fist pumps and back slaps. It's uh, wonderful. And Don Shockle are doing it today. Again, as a leash man, I, I won't comment on GAA if uh, that's okay. You're off the hook there. Even though Seamus Plunkett's doing a great job with the, the hurlers at the moment. I thought you were going to mention GAA. Uh, Conroy always getting the comments in.
4.48 left in this half. But a good flow to this game. And that would be the fir first. Well, that's well played there from Paul McMeehan. Missed the shot, got back to cover the fast break. And they're going to need to do more of that because it's been a tactic that has worked for Kalosh to Priest Tree when they've executed at pace. And that's unlucky, but again, it's the difference between shooting a three. <laughs> that's a super pass. Oh, it's just one of those things. He maybe marveled at the pass just a little bit. Did young Jason O'Callaghan rather than focusing on his job, which was to convert us. And that's a superb offensive rebound and put back there from William McCarthy. The lead is out to four now for Dunshock from Community College. I think oh. we have another scenario as well with the Dunshockland boys would be more than happy to write themselves off as underdogs yeah, but early in this game. But of course, when you're an under, you know, if you're if if you're using that underdog tag and you maybe go on a run and go six, eight points clear, where's your focus after that? Yeah, it, to actually hold on to a lead, maintain it, and build it. Yeah, these guys guys look like they want to play ball. I mean, they're, they're good shooters. They, they move the ball well against that zone, which is helping them at the moment because they're getting better looks. Evan Barrett with the Euro step for Gary Pineda. And that was the right option there. I mean, that's just team basketball. It's a great drive. Player coming off the angle. Nice little easy feed for an easy layup. Nice job, Evan Barrett. So, it's back to outside shooting in the last while for from Shocklin. Ooh. And once they go back inside, that'll really settle things for Ronan Smith. He'd had three or four efforts from 22, 23, 24 feet. And just showing that they might only be worth two, but they're an awful lot easier to convert once you get inside. Pineda, it's the kick back to O'Callaghan. With Pineda to drive to the basket for the reverse layup. Comes off the underside of the rim. Oh, it's just a tough shot. He got himself too far under the rim and wasn't able to get himself. Oh, a lovely out. bounce pass inside. Will it be converted? Yes, it will. Great score there from Rory Cowell. Nice little shot fake to get the court guys off their feet. Nice finish. Six points now the lead. And <laughs> again, Devin O'Sullivan. As languid as you like on the ball, but it does have that calming influence on his side. No need to be urgent as of yet. That was Cullen Call in there, converting that one. Two minutes to go to the half. Four-point lead for Dunshockland Community College. On the ball with Cormac Meehan. This is Rory Carroll. With Meehan, zip pass. That's straight over the top from William McCarthy. And now it's O'Sullivan with a little bit more injection in this one. Super play there, had an awful lot to do after he got airbound. Little pass fake and nice finish again. Just very natural basketballers of Sullivan. <laughs> That's superb there, Rory Carroll saying, sure you can face guard me all you like, I got this shot, we're all good. And the lead is back out to five points for Dunshockland Community College. I think he's four from six from outside. I mean, that's that's huge playing against his own defense. It's gonna make him spread out that little bit more. And the reverse layup works in the second attempt for Gary Pineda. One minute to go now to the half. Three points between the sides. Dunshockland on the ball through Rory Carroll. To, to Smith inside. Yousaf has been really effective on the boards, contesting well. Nice <laughs> Just wonderful stuff from Evan Barris. He really attacked the rim there, you know, nice soft finish. These guys look like you can just get off the ground and then decide what to do next. And that's Ronan Smith again, making life maybe a little bit hard for himself in where he's choosing to shoot from. But give himself a foot or two and still be in range. Nine seconds to go now to the half. Looking Evan for the last shot. To take the lead for Kalosh Kalo Street, it's no good. McCarthy's gonna have to do something special here. Oh, <laughs> nearly did. Nearly was special. Nearly did. Well, 
they had the possession to end the half, they had the points to give them the lead. At half time here in the under 19 B Boys All Ireland Schools League Final, it's Dunshockland Community College, 32 points, Colossal Decrease 3, 31 points. We do requests, sure why not? But dear to just saying it was great to hear Kojak back in the live stream. Also, cheering on our support for Colossal Decrease 3, and the leaders, they trail heading into the third quarter by just a point. They're in the green uniform with nice the shot. black and white horizontal stripes, and they've just taken the lead. Uh, you can thank Deirdre McCarthy for that one. But to be fair, Devin O'Sullivan probably had something to do with it as well. They're taking on Dunshockland in the light blue. Dunshockland Community College. And this is the under 19B All Ireland Schools League Finals. Nice fake there from Rory Carroll to William McCarthy. Who <laughs> looks a lot like he just passed it to himself <laughs> with the basket in between. And once again, we have Devin O'Sullivan. Hashtag not a bother on him. Evan Barrett now. He's just got his set. He, he knows what he wants to do. He's getting his team in the right position. Yeah. Trying to get the ball to Gary on the post. Nice fadeaway jump. Yeah, super. Great form there from Gary Pineda, who's predominantly been doing stuff in under the basket today. They're going to need Gary to step up a little bit. I mean, he only had a, he had a quiet first half. If he comes alive, I think that Colossal 3-3 can really push it out here. Devin hits the gas. And that's super play there by Yousaf to come back and make the steal on him. Just crept up on the outside. Snuck the ball. McCarthy did well to take from Pineda. Has fallen for company. Gets the shot away. Yousaf can't get the rebound. But the ball is with Dunshockland. To see uh, referee Katrina White having a chat with Gary there. Mary Gardner asking to say she's turned to the, to the dark side. Yousaf with the kickback. It's out, and this is Yousaf again. Unlucky there, was working hard to get his shot away. Evan Barris. Nice finish. Super finish. Again, well, you know, what we have seen is guys who can get up there, get into that layup position, and so often it's overcooked. Yeah. I mean, he really drove at that basket, so it took good control just to ease off a little bit and let the ball do the work in terms of finding his way to the basket. Partial deflection there from Gary Pineda, who has upped his work rate a little bit and is on the ball. <laughs> Gets his own rebound. Yeah. We are seeing a definite up in tempo in this game. With five and a half minutes to go in Q3. Colossal Crease 3 are out in front and it does mean that Dunshockland haven't scored yet in this third quarter. Yeah, they've gone two and a half minutes without a score but look who's on the line, it's, it's Rory Carroll. Rory's been doing a fantastic job for him so far in this game. Thanks open, Ross. Sorry, uh, I got a bit distracted there by the fact that his shoes match his uniform. I know this is something that uh, you're hoping to make a, um, a widespread thing in the, in the game. But he's not just about the fancy shoes, is he? Two from two, one possession game once again, five and a half to go in this first two, quarter. Three. Evan Barris, you can take your eyes off this game, but that is, of course, basketball by its very nature. Lead is back out to six points now. Played Rory Carroll. He's, he's keeping in, him in the game, Ross. He's a form player, he's a confidence player, but he is on form. He's, as you've been saying, his accuracy stats in this game have been outstanding today. There's that fadeaway that Gary's been working on for the last while, and it's done enough to let in Jason O'Callaghan. Costa Cruz 3 lead by 6. 4.44 left in the quarter. Nice dish there from Carroll. I think that was a step out there. Devin O'Sullivan to Colin Collin. It's back with O'Sullivan. 3-3 have definitely stepped up their defense a little bit. They're a little bit more aggressive on it, which is leading to their offense as well. This is Collin. 
off the front of the rim. Ball is claimed by Cormac Meehan for Carroll. Bounce pass to McCarthy. Cuts in, spins. Oh, look at that. Great block, Gary Pineda. It's That's not all about the offense. Evan Barrett finally misses the layup. What's that song all the kids are singing these days? It's all about defense, about defense. Wow. Ah, come on. Wow. No, he's not even looking at me. Wow. Okay. Worth the shot. The same might go for Colin Collum. But it's back in play and with good shot in. Meehan, short on options, finds Yusuf. <laughs> Guess who again though, look, look who's attacking the basket, he's going to the line for another two free throws. Yeah. You know, it, it's I think he'd won that free before Pineda got the block on, did yeah, he? It, 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 no, he's, he's got two shots anyway. But like, it, it's, it's an 11-4 third quarter so far, and this kid is the four points for the shot, and he's playing really well. Yeah, the foul was uh, from Devin O'Sullivan on that one. Talent hitters first, eh? Good recovery from Rory Carroll. His team are leaning on him just a little bit. Devin with the drive. Ball is back with Dunshockland to Rory Carroll to Rona Smith. Meehan says, can I have that one? The ref says, no thanks. Again, it's just shown his smarts. He gets up in the air. He knows he's going out of bounds. Pop it off the defender and take the ball back. Evan Barrett at the point. Off the front of the rim. Call uh, testing. This is Yusuf. You know, normally he tries to find another player. And he has done so. And that's well played. And that's somebody other than Ronan Carroll getting on the score sheet this time. Ronan Smith. Now, Devin O'Sullivan. 2.58 to go to the end of this third quarter. Kick back out to O'Sullivan, who has a bit of work to do to gather. Rory Carroll's in front of him. They play Evan Barris. It's back with Pineda for three. And it's cleaned up by Yusuf, who feeds Carroll, who cut inside and try pretty much everything to get airborne. And the shot away, and it's worked. I think it's fair to say that ball was never going in, but it did get him to the line. No, but he knew what he was doing. He, he fought hard to get the foul. Uh, good call. He goes to the line again now for another couple of free throws. Keeps his team. As I said, we keep saying it. He's keeping his team in the game. He scored out of those seven points they've had since halftime. He's got five of them. And he's going to the line now to bring it to a one-point game, you know? So, Rory Carroll's going to the line. What the hell's he doing? What do you, what do, you do? I'm doing your job again. <laughs> again. You kind of had me there. Rory Carroll makes it a one-point game. And a bit of a run from Kalosh to Cree Street has now been cancelled out. Two and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. And it's a, a single-possession game. Gar Pineda was in the short corner. And now it's done shocking. With Ronan Smith to Rory Carroll. I'm just surprised he missed that one. <laughs> He's human after all. Colin plays O'Sullivan. He steps back out inside the arc for Evan Barrett. What a pass. To pull in if this goes in. That's superb basketball. Four players involved. All rapid fire. And it was converted by Jason O'Callaghan. When Chris Re attacked the basket, that's when they're getting their scores. They, they stop for two minutes. Start throwing up shots from outside. Nothing was happening for them. When they go to the basket, that's where they got their run as well. Sullivan checks the crowd to see if they're chanting his name. Not just yet. This is Evan Barris. That's good work there from Colin. He stepped in to the space. But also stepped into traffic and turned the ball over. A good play to find McCarthy. Who needs this one to go in. We haven't seen a score from him in this quarter, and now we have. 
Back to a one-point game. 1.22 to go in this eight-minute quarter, the third of four. O'Sullivan well, goes himself. Collins inside, competing with Yousaf. And he's done enough there to bring it back. Can I have a, another player checking into the game for Dunshockland? It's Gavin Maher is chomping at the bit. He's in for Cormac Meehan. Nice move, Gary Benedin. Strong there. Knew he needed both hands of the ball as late as possible to protect us. And it means that with a minute to go in this quarter, the lead is out to three points again. Rory Carroll not getting much help on the screen there, I think. Well, that's well played McCarthy. We have an interesting scenario now whereby Colossal Creek 3 have clearly identified Rory Carroll as the danger man. And in fact, all it's done in the last minute or so has allowed William McCarthy to come back into the game. And the, the, you know, the big man it is, is going to the basket as well. You know, and he's finishing. And they, the chocolate have recognised that too and they're getting the ball inside too. Yousaf played in to Maher. It was very clear that they were looking for this guy all along. And they'd be unlucky with that one. Good acrobatics there. And now, that was Colin pulling up for O'Sullivan into the paint. Goes to the line for two. Ten seconds left in this third quarter. A little surprised that Skokie 3 didn't wait for the last shot of the, the quarter there and just keep the ball. They're going to give uh, the Chocolate another shot to, to end this quarter. are happy with five seconds left now and they want to slow down and give Carroll a chance to do something and that won't be it yeah so we have I think it's Evan Barrett who's kind of identified himself as the man to take out yeah, Evan, Rory Evan, Carroll Evan's a great defender he's got fast feet and he, can, he, he, like, he moves very well uh, and he's going to try and make sure that Mr. Carroll stays a little bit quieter Carl and Evan Barris, they're going to be close acquaintances for the next eight minutes, you have to imagine. Yeah, they've gone into a box and one, so they're, they're, their idea here is to take Carl totally out again. And will it provide opportunities for William McCarthy or will other players, like the newly introduced Gavin Maher, really look to step up for Dunshockland in the face of superb athleticism from Evan Barris? We literally just used the momentum of the jump to sprint back and get into defence. McCarthy well played. Who knows that his cider still in this? Very much so. The other four guys in the box have got to work a little bit harder. You know, if Evan's going to take young Carl out again, the other four guys have got to rebound and got to talk to each other a little bit more to help each other out. A oh, super... Oh... Unfortunate there for, for Yousaf. He got the intercept. I think he just took a finger in the eye there. Just a bit unfortunate. We'll be able to blink that one off and we'll be back at it in no time. Good decision by the referees. They knew it was just an accident and just fall out of bounds and away you go again. Seven minutes to go. Evan Barrett with the stop. I see Gary Pineda is kind of paying more attention to Mr. McCarty now as well. He's trying to stop him getting the ball. Yep, nice bit of hustle it is. Those two players in action there. Youssef was open. Tried to go the hard way. Around Collage to Cree Street. Yep. Just give him a chance to recycle with the inbounds. Gavin Maher. In a box of one, that center of that zone is going to be very open, so... Roland Smith on that occasion, ball comes back to Pineda, feeds to Sullivan, to Barris, looks inside, pulls up, hits the two, but it's back in play, and back with Roland Smith. Smith is Yousaf to the right, Carroll to the left, and Meehan coming out to take it, it's back with Smith, he takes it on himself, tried to hit the runner there, just had the radar off a little bit. 
Holland finds Barrett in the corner to Pineda. Just the extra step. Again, superb support here from both schools this afternoon. If literally looks like they got around the classrooms and went, right, which one's the noisiest of you? Get on the bus. We're coming to Dublin with us. Teachers having a quiet day down the court. <laughs> To hell or to the arena. This is Meehan with another attempt. Yeah. We'll be happy with that. You can see that shot coming from the opposite side of the floor. No defensive rebounder on this side. So the, the offensive player is able to sneak in, take that rebound, and now he goes to the line for two free throws. They've got to be careful on that. There's got to be more communication down there. Pineda. There's only one player on three fouls at the moment, actually. And that's Cullum Collin. William McCarty has really stepped up for him in the last couple of minutes. Ross, he's, he's taken on the mantle of Roy, Rory Carroll there. And with 5.50 to go, that's given them the lead. Which is a, a huge significance in this game where nobody's been comfortably out of the lead, you'd have to say. Great offensive rebound from Gary Pineda. It's been kind of to and fro the whole game. I mean, it's, it's going to be right down to the wire with this one, say. Timeout called. Five minutes and 40 seconds to go. The Shockland, 49. Philosophy Street Court, 48. Steps to the line for Colossus to Cree Street with an opportunity to give his side back the lead with five minutes and 40 seconds left to go in this under 19 B League final. That's parity. And that's the lead. We're up to 50 points. This has been a high scoring game, perhaps one of the highest we've had so far. 11 games live at the arena, all of which being streamed. With varying degrees of commentary pleasure, depending on whether it's myself or Matt behind the mic. We do expect to hear from Matt Hall a little bit later on this afternoon. Rory Carroll's finally got himself a bit of space, but only takes it as far as Devin O'Sullivan. That's, I think that's Rory Carroll's first shot in quite some time. Yeah, Evan's done a great job on him in this quarter, but the Shockton have got to find some way of getting him free. They've got to set some screens for him, get him coming off screens, and let him go to the basket and, and do what he's good at, yeah? Pineda is lurking in the short corner. Colin opts to save him for a minute. But Sullivan has Barrett to his right. Opts not to go with him. It's back to Colin. And there's Pineda. That's a great finish, and again, it's going inside, and it's, it's making things happen. 
and now the gap is out to three points. 4.40 left in the game. Carol and Barris. Carol and Barris. McCarthy to Yusuf. Unlucky there. And Rory Carroll's trying to get himself in the game now. He's talking to his teammates, trying to come for the ball, and Evan's doing a good job of keeping him out the ball. <laughs> now, we've talked about Rory Carroll being a confidence player. When he's somebody coming down and you like that with the block. That's just great timing from Evan Barry. He, he, he saw what he was doing, saw he was going to the corner, got there and made the block. It's out with the Ronan Smith. McCarthy tried to shoot for three, and Yusuf knows at this point he's more of a drop the dime and make the rebound man, and he... They could probably leave McCarthy alone out there, but when he goes to the basket, that's when he's much stronger. And great finish from him again there. Brings his side right back into things. Pineda's going to shoot for three. <laughs> that's that's a, not the first time he's done that in this game. It's a really long two. He must have had his toe on the line on that one. Oh. Good man. Martin Connery, you're a sharper man than I. Still, 54 plays 51 with three minutes and 44 seconds to go. And I think Kalosha Crease 3 are getting the sense at this point that if they have to leave somebody open in the paint, that the stats would suggest that Yusaf is the man. Just to confirm, we're still on box one there, are we? Excuse me? For Kalosh Crease 3. Oh, box one, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Evans still taking him, Evans keeping him out of the game. Pineda with the rebound. 3.30 to left, left to go in the game, eight minute quarters. Jason McCallaghan tries to take it on himself. A little extra step in there. Not so much a, a travel in the traditional sense, I think he's just lost his footing more than yeah, anything else. Absolutely. The only thing Greece really, really have to worry about the next couple of minutes is they're on team fouls. You don't want to be sending the, the shots into the line for easy, easy free throws. Uh, Cormac Meehan is out there contesting on Gary Pineda, despite the fact that he nearly just took a flag to the head from the support of Kalosh to Greece 3. At some point, you're going to have to realize this is only a fight. That, that morph suit doesn't make you invisible. <laughs> Timeout calls. 3.07 left in the game. Kalosh Decree 3, 56, and Shockland 51. Tension really starting to rise here now. So Shockland just got to believe that they've got lots of time left. They've got 3-3 three, three in foul trouble, so they've got to use that to their uh, advantage in the count in the last few minutes. Travel just find McCarthy inside. Saying that another couple of baskets from 3-3 with that reply would make it really hard on the shot to last. 2.50 left now. And I think we are going to see a little bit more of O'Sullivan being happy to slow things down and run it out. Pineda unsuccessful from the baseline with the three. McCarthy on the break. We'll find Carroll, who is ne never has... Colossal Crease, three hands too far away, even on a fast break. And the Bowerons are thumping for the Corkmen. McCarthy has Pineda, decides not to go around him. It's not his shot. Gets the he's ball got to, over him. He's it's got to take that to the basket, you know? He, yeah. That's not his shot. Get Gary off his feet and go underneath him. Evan has it to think about the shot. All he does is invite O'Sullivan into traffic. And Yusuf, one of the most effective rebounders on this court. That's Cormac Meehan trying to find Carroll. Finally gets an open look. Whoa! <laughs> look at that! That's why the ball is on him. And, but to be fair, to have to step left to get that open look and get the shot away in quick succession Absolutely superb. One possession game once again. 
Joseph cleans it up to make the best efforts of Jason O'Callaghan. This is McCarthy, takes the bump, recovers the ball, has a look, and the sides are level, 123 to go in this final quarter. That's what McCarthy's good at, going to the basket strong and finishing nice and soft. Brings this game nice and level now, we've got a good last minute and a half to go. Of course what the audience uh, are, are missing when you describe things like that is the little flex of the muscle when you say things like players being strong. It's, it's very impressive to be quite honest, I'm, I'm a little intimidated right now Martin. <laughs> 123 to go. Sides are level. This is the under 19 B All-Ireland Final. Hang on there till I fire out a tweet to make sure there's loads of people watching. It's been a good game so far. I mean, high scoring game for eight minute quarters at 56 apiece. No! Oh. The train is gone. Expect the millions to come in. Multitasking. Apparently, the site went down yesterday because of all the traffic that was coming in to watch the Scottish League finals. I will so. believe it. Oh, yeah. Here we go, and this. The fifth game to take place at the arena this week is the first one where we're down the stretch and the game really in the balance, I think. Well, Chris Ree had no timeouts left. They're also on 14 fouls, so you know, everything they're going to do now, they're going to do it on the floor. But they do have the players to do it. Well, Sullivan looks happy. Barrett looks athletic. And he'll go to the line for two. Now again, only because it was the most recent game here at the arena, going back to the under-16A final last yesterday evening, Summerhill College Sligo, already cup champs. They're, they're six down with 153 to go. But a huge part of that was the fact they made their free throws when they really, really needed to. Yeah, the free game, throws are so It's a game-winning skill, yeah. it's a game-winning mentality. And we're seeing now Evan Barris has one from two and two from two and there you have it that's the lead straight back four colors to three three 58 plays 56 108 remaining you know three three have done really well not to foul so far not to give easy points to don't by putting them on the line yeah. smith and Meehan running the backcourt as carol is covering a huge amount of ground to get free he's working so hard to get himself free his teammates aren't giving him much of a help at the moment, so kids, kids have got to step up to him and give him some help. Takes his place in the zone for the shot. 45 seconds remaining. Colossia Cree 3 by 2 to find Evan Barris, who will drive to the paint. Absolutely blasted a pass to Gary Pereira, but it's been shot him with the ball. In the back hole, Ronan Smith is looking for Carol, who had just a sniff of space to work with. That's Cree Three's first foul in the last two minutes. And just a little hug, just a little how are you doing from Evan Bars is enough to send him to the line. Two pressure shots right now. Twenty nine point nine seconds remaining. The superb by Rory Carroll. I didn't want to ask the question, can he level it up? And I was hoping you wanted to clearly was that he could. 58, 58, 23 seconds remaining. Evan Barris. Again with Barris. Still looks calm. 15 seconds to go. Kicks it out to O'Sullivan. He'll take it on himself. Rebound claim from McCarthy who'll break with Carroll to his left. May look to go himself. Wow. Three seconds remaining. Three seconds remaining. Shots up. Oh my goodness! What a game with a buff. Absolutely incredible stuff here. With just a, a game winner from McCarthy. And there you have it. Dunshockland Community College of Me. 
against a team who looked like they had all the time and all the talent in the world to get the win. Kalosh Kreisri of Cork. But the mean side have beaten the Cork opponents. And it is, I think both sides are shocked, I think it's fair to say. That, that, how that one came about. That was an unbelievable finish. He goes to the basket, two players in the lane. He's able to get it up above them. But if you saw in the last quarter, every time he went to the basket, he got something. He got a score, he got a rebound. Great basket from McCarty, but you got to look at Rory Carroll. Rory Carroll was unbelievable. Well, I think that game really had it all, to be fair. On the, for the nerds out there, we watched this, the tactical battle essentially between the coaches. They, as they try different methods to do different things. On the player front, we saw good outside play, good inside play, superb athleticism, endless running, and as a dramatic a finish as you're going to find at the National Basketball Arena this week. The finish is here in the Under-19B All-Ireland Schools League Final. Done Shackland Community College. Of me, 60 points. Kalosh to Crease 3 of Cork, 58. We're leaving now to watch the presentations. Don't forget to join us at 12.30 for more live action here from the arena. Where we'll be bringing you the Under-19B Girls All-Ireland Schools League Final between Skullwero of Longford and Mercy Mountop of Kerry. Okay, big hand of